So I'm Liz Womack and I'm the Projects and Grants Officer here at Leominster Town Council uh, and I've been asked just to say a little bit about some of the projects that we're working on here in Leominster and particularly those that are collaborative and involve working with other organisations in the town. So uh, as a town council we are involved with all sorts of different sectors of the community and so that includes uh, residents, uh, business owners, community groups, support services and the conversations that we have with, with all of these different people give us an insight not just into uh, the assets and the opportunities that we have as a community but also uh, some of the challenges that are faced by people who live and work here in Leominster and so as a town council we're passionate about looking for opportunities to collaborate with other organisations to try and tackle problems or, or address issues that we come across and uh, Lemster Town Council over the last three years has taken on the delivery of a lot of additional services uh, sort of um, that includes green spaces and parks, uh, cutting verges, uh, dealing with public toilets uh, and at the same time we've started working on some uh, exciting projects that we think are going to be of great benefit to people uh, in Lemster. And as a result of both of these things, we've found that the number of contacts that we work with uh, and the working relationships that we have uh, have broadened. And so what we've needed to find is, is a model of working that allows us to, to join some of the dots between the people that we work with uh, and also the different projects that we're working on. And so we've been uh, looking for a model that uh, allows for effective communication and for the sharing of ideas and resources uh, and for exchanging opportunities. And what we've come up with is what we call the Team Lemster Initiative and we've looked at some other models that people are using locally uh, in urban centres, so there's the Team Hereford model uh, and Team Shrewsbury. Uh, and we've taken the learning from those models and thought, well, how can we apply them in a way that works for a, a rural market town like Lemster? And so the Team Lemster Initiative has two tiers, and so the bottom tier is a, an operational tier, and that's made up of representatives from groups that work on the streets of Lemster on a day-to-day -day basis. So you'll have uh, members of the environmental services team from the town council, uh, West Mercia police, uh, people from CCTV in Herefordshire, uh, Leominster street ambassadors, and also representatives from the daytime and the nighttime retail economies. And those groups will meet briefly uh, on, on a weekly basis, and they'll deal with uh, issues that come up uh, on the streets, and where possible they'll put in place some actions to try and deal with those issues. And where there are issues that might be particularly complex or, or that are reoccurring, then those will get escalated up to a, a next level that we'll call the tactical tier. Uh, and that's uh, basically a group of people who, who produce strategies for joined up thinking when it comes to responding to opportunities or challenges that, that we face as a town. And so we'll have on that, on that tier, we'll have um, people from uh, the town council, from the county council, from uh, Balfour Beatty, schools, uh, West Mercy Police, Venture, churches together, uh, just a whole range of different organisations in the town. And they all meet uh, monthly and uh, they will be sort of informed by the sorts of things that are being dealt with uh, at the operational level. Uh, and I think it's really important to say that even though both of these groups have a particular core group of participants that are at every meeting, the emphasis is always on trying to uh, encourage as many people as possible to be involved and to make the conversations as broad as possible uh, so that we're bringing in skills and experience from across the town. And I wanted to quickly mention a, a couple of projects that we're working on at the moment that just help to uh, practically illustrate why the Team Lemster model is, uh, is useful for us and how it helps us to collaborate. So the, the first of those uh, is called Mapping Lemster's Youth and that was a project that we finished earlier this year. And what it sought to do was to, to build a comprehensive picture of youth experience here in Leominster and to look at uh, the, some of the challenges that stop people from, from thriving and stop families from doing well, but also to look at how we can come together as a town to start to, to break down some of those barriers. And so we spoke to 43 different organisations, all of whom work with young people here in Leominster, and we had input from about 200 young people through focus groups and questionnaires. And we, we drew all of that together and produced a report uh, called the Mapping Lemster's Youth Report, which was uh, available in, in April of this year. And at, at the end of that report, what it does is, as well as summarising everything that we'd learned, it proposes some projects that can bring together the skills and experience and resource of, of, of organisations from across the town 
and, and build something tangible that can be positive in the lives of young people that live in the town. Uh, and so because there are so many different organisations feeding into all of those projects, the tactical tier of the Team Lemster model is the perfect forum for being able to discuss those issues and to build that collaboration. Uh, and secondly, uh, the Town Council has been working with Venture to uh, develop a volunteer street presence for Lemster. So that's something a little bit like the, the street pastors in Hereford, but with more of a, a daytime focus. And that project will be informed by, but also inform what's going on at the operational tier of uh, the Team Lemster model. So because they're going to be out on the streets uh, on a regular basis, they are an extra set of eyes and ears for the team. And they can help to give a bit of an insight into some issues that are maybe raised elsewhere. Um, as an example, with the Mapping Lemster's Youth Project, there were groups of young people that told us that at certain places and at certain times in the town, they didn't feel secure, they felt, they felt unsafe. And so if we're going to respond to that, not only can the street ambassadors be a, a comforting presence, but they can also start to look out for, for maybe reasons why that fear is there and also what we can do to try and address it. So it's really important to, to have that insight there. So in terms of what uh, our challenges are, uh, looking forwards as we continue to develop some of these projects, um, initially, we'll continue to evolve the, the Team Lemster model that's currently in its infancy just to make sure that, that it continues to be a benefit not just to those organisations that are part of it but also to the town as a whole. Um, we also, I think, need to be aware that as we're having discussions about the future of our town and about challenges and opportunities that we face, that there are voices that can easily be missed out and we have to take steps to make sure that we, we hear those voices. So for example, uh, young people, we're thinking of uh, trying to set up maybe a youth council, uh, or being aware of the fact that the experiences of those people who live in the rural areas around them sir, might be very different to those people living in the centre, and so that's something we need to be sensitive to. I think we also need to make sure that we keep feeding into wider, broader conversations about collaborative working across the county, uh, because there are various discussions going on about whether it's possible to be, build a, a team Herefordshire that would sit over all of this collaborative working and that we could all feed into, um, which could have you know, great benefits for all of us. And I think probably the final thing to say is that the best learning is the learning that's shared. And so as we continue to work on these projects, we're also looking forward to sharing the learning that we gain and the resources that we build with other councils that are doing similar things and trying to tackle similar problems in, in their own spaces. Because even though our communities are all unique uh, and, and different, uh, there are also common themes that we all uh, have to address. And I think actually if we, if we do that collaboratively, then there's, there's scope for us all to benefit from that.